G'day guys, welcome back to the channel for this True Footy AFL Evolution career with the mighty West Coast Eagles. We are coming off the back of one of the most incredible wins, or I'd say the most incredible win of this career so far up against Geelong at GMHBA Stadium. My first game on Legendary in full from start to finish. We overcame, I think it was like four goals down in the last quarter to somehow kick two goals in what was probably the last 20 or 30 seconds of the game. And literally, Elliot Yo kicked the goal as the siren was blowing on the run. So, pretty up and about after that. We're taking on the Adelaide Crows, who are in fourth spot. And, uh, you know, Matthew Nix has done a fantastic job in his first season as coach. He somehow turned around this club, who looked like they were on the verge of a lengthy rebuild. But we'll see from there. Fourth spot is, well, a very, very good achievement for them if they can win today. They give themselves a good chance of really solidifying that. In the injury front, we have bad news. Gaff is out for a month. His second injury in like three weeks or something. And Jack Redden has also got a one-week injury. So I've brought in some youth. Jared Cameron, the young forward, comes into the forward line. I've moved Petrocelli to the wing, even though he's been such a good goal kicker. I'm going to use his pace on the wing. And Braden Ainsworth comes in over the unlucky Xavier O'Neill. I thought I'd give young Ainsworth there, number 33, a chance of his first crack of the season. Got to test out the youth before making decisions on some contracts in the future seasons. So, big game today. Top four clash. Let's see if we can back up last week's awesome effort. Oh, good interception there from Liam Ryan. The Eagles look switched on early. Oh, Cameron's there. Can he find him with a short pass? He might do... Oh, it's not Jared Cameron. That's Tim Kelly. I'm not a racist. Thought it was more likely to be Jared Cameron there lurking in the pocket. But Tim Kelly's had two shots on goals already. He's got se uh, seven points. He's got, a, got one goal, one. Great start from him and the Eagles. Ooh, a high tackle awarded to skipper Elliot Yo. The Eagles have been completely dominant so far. Two goals to nothing. Oh, I oh, thought I messed it up. Oh, JK's right there. Why wouldn't you pass to him? Yes. Oh, there's another free play. It won't let me change my target there. That's a bit annoying. I uh, had a clear Archie open. And he snuck it through. Still a little bit annoyed it wouldn't let me change my target. But that's all right. Three goals to nothing. Oh, the Crows here with some swarming pressure. Oh, he's turned it into nothing. Good defense there from Lewis Jetta with a big tackle. Was it Taylor Walker he brought down? Oh, no. All right, I got dogged there. Again, the change player function betrays me. The player I was going to kick to ran straight in front of the player in the mark. And we turned it over. The Crows will get one back here. Oh, I've given away a 50 metre penalty, stupidly. Archie has run over the mark and tried to smother. This will probably result in another goal. Oh, we've just touched it. Yes, good grab there from Kripar. This time it lets me change player, but a little bit later. That's all right, Ellie. Oh, he's taking the mark. Might go for the torpedo. Oh, I reckon he's got the journey. I reckon he's got the journey with a simple drop punt. But no, I haven't pressed it quite hard enough, have I? I have. Good kick from Elliot Yo in perfect conditions. The breeze is uh, non-existent at the stadium. Fifty meters again. I actually don't know what I did there. I don't know if I was even controlling Yo as he did that. So, I f it's a bit of a strange game so far. I feel like every uh, Adelaide shot so far has been generated from either something dumb I've done or like a weird glitch. I mean, that that's kind of just unlucky. Oh, picked up the ball. Lewis Jetta had no idea where it was. Stengel. And that is quarter time here at Optus Stadium. Very strange game so far. Often I think that we've started slowly 
and the other side is unlucky not to be in front or further in front. Uh, by contrast, today I feel like we've been playing well enough to be about six or seven goals in front, but we've been a little bit unlucky with at least two bad 50-meter calls, uh, in my opinion. Kind of got unlucky with, you know, entering the protected area um, and a couple of weird glitchy things that have cost me goals, but we sit four points in front. Let's see if we can put that dominance on the scoreboard in the second term. Brad Shepard sees Kennedy all on his own. He's taken a good grab there. For some reason, unmarked in the forward 50. Tell you what, this guy has been dominating since he bagged four against Richmond. It might have even come earlier than that. He hasn't quite got a hold of it, has he? It is a goal to Josh Kennedy. Great form from him in the second half of this season. Oh, is that going to sneak through? Tim Kelly's... What? What happened there? Tim Kelly's... I definitely pressed circle there. Tim Kelly's kicked it backwards towards Argo. It's all right. We're going to get a shot on goal here anyway. But I uh, I question what just happened there. He might kick a goal. The kick towards goal. Handballed with the ball now. Getting in the way was Allen. Steady hands there. Good grab from Kennedy. Can he find it? Oh, there's a teammate right there, but he doesn't find him. He does. Can he find Dom Sheed? He can. That was a bit... Pointlessly ballsy. Eagles look to extend it to 27 points. He decides to go for Hartman out there and held on to it. Picked up now. Rotham just put it on the boot. Yes, that Takes is a good spot up. He's going to find Liam Ryan who can take a bounce. Kicked by Ryan. It's a good kick a to Kennedy. Great play, Eagles. Good mark, Kennedy. He really Oscar. probably has been best on ground today. Devastating play from the Eagles. That is Premiership football. More of that, please. Uh-oh, here we go. And that could fall short. Uh, he has fallen short, too. Throwing the ball. That's a bit stiff. I'd like to see Adelaide's... Uh, inside 50s from free kicks and scores from free kicks because it would be pretty high for this game. It is a very good goal though. I can't take that away from Jordan Gallucci. He's put that through on a very tight angle. Interesting. Oh, Liam Wright with a bit of magic. Has made the Crows pay for a sloppy piece of defence. The Eagles now 34 points in front. He gains possession. Oh, Liam Ryan, the snap has put it through. He's got two goals in just about a minute. He sees Tim Kelly. Can he take the uncontested mark? He can. He's found a lot of the pill today, Tim Kelly. There he is. That is probably, I think, his second or his third. He's had a couple of shots. Oh, good handball there. Crouch could... It does slide through. I thought that was going to hit the post. The Crows get one back against the run of play. Brad Crouch has worked tirelessly for nine contested possessions. The ball is coming back into play. Natanui with a punch. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Lutz with the ball. He gains possession. Kelly moves it by hand. Petrocelli's got a tough ask here, but he's not going to get there in time. Good stuff from the Adelaide Crows. A rare bit of good play from them today. Oh, that's going to trickle through as well. Darcy Fogarty from long range has kicked a very good goal. The Crows starting to make the score a little more respectable. Oh, 
kick. Hacking it out of there. Intercepted by Gallucci. Oh, with the swerving goal is Gallucci again. 29 points is the margin. The Crows are completely dominating the last five minutes. He's got three goals even. Wow, and just like that, they've waltzed it out of the center. Adelaide have all the momentum. It's very hard to stop teams with momentum in this game. We were down a four goal margin. Oof. <laughs> Interesting mistake there from the Adelaide defender. Not something you often see in the back line, but we've seen it twice in this game. Liam Ryan should probably go back and kick this to settle the Eagles. He's missed. Picks up the loose ball. Needs a bit of a rest. Crow surge the ball forward here. Forget this, it's 18 points. The Eagles have been utterly destroyed in this last quarter. We're back in the middle. O'Brien got a fist to it. Cameron can't hold on to the tackle. Here we go again. They go forward through Brad Crouch, who is unstoppable, apparently. Is this Fogarty? He's going to make it 12 points. Are the Eagles having what happened last week done to them this week? You'd hope not. Although this would be a far bigger comeback. He's put it through. We're back to 12 points. Oh, I actually didn't know the siren went there. That was pretty dumb. But there we go. We've, we've closed a 12-point win. And uh, the Eagles... Really, almost made to pay for a very, very poor last quarter. I couldn't actually see how long was left to go. But alas, an important 12-point win against a top four contender. Adelaide looked pretty shattered to have dropped that game. And frankly, they were poor all day. And uh, couldn't quite keep up with the Eagles for when it mattered, really. 40 inside 50 to 28. For just a 12-point margin, that is pretty poor. I thought the Eagles really deserved to be further and further in front than they were. And Adelaide kind of really kicked back in that last quarter. I felt like this was probably a 10-goal win gone begging. As we look at the player of the match, Tim Kelly gets another three votes. Brad Crouch was really good for the visitors, as was Wayne Miller in that loose defense role. Elliot Yo, I thought, was really stiff not to get a vote. He had 12 possessions. I thought he was playing really well. I think he had two goals as well, but so did Tim Kelly, I guess. Josh Kennedy had four, another one of our best players. So before we go, guys, another look at the ladder. We are four points clear with a game in hand over Hawthorne. Collingwood and now Geelong have crept into the top four despite us beating them. Sydney are fifth and Adelaide are sixth. I had both of those teams in my bottom four prediction at the start of the season. GWS down there in seventh. Brisbane Lions in eighth and the Richmond Tigers out of the finals race just about looking at that. It will be very, very tough for them to get. They're going to have to win every game, I reckon, to get to 52 points, 13 wins. They are pretty much out. We play Fremantle next week, our rivals, at obviously Optum Stadium. Their season is just about over as well. But I look forward to having you join me for what should be another emotional clash with the Dockers. See you next week, guys. Take it easy.